Hey everyone, welcome to my Ranger School adventure where I'm going through every day of my journey through the U.S. Army's Ranger School. Today, I will be going through day three of the Ranger assessment phase, and I'm going to give you three reasons why I failed Ranger School the first time. The reasons might really surprise you, so if you're planning to go to Ranger School, make sure to pay close attention so you can avoid the mistakes I made. If you know someone who's going, please send them this video because it might really help them. If you missed the previous video, I'm not going to go through a full recap here, but you can check it out here. Now, before we get started, I write a Substack newsletter called The Distro, where I talk about the military and leadership and books and a bunch of other great stuff. There's a free version of the newsletter that you can check out. If you've never used Substack before, um, then just you, you can click the link, drop in your email. It'll ask you what kind of subscription you want. Um, for most people, if you just want the free one, just click none. Uh, I know it's a little weird how it's worded, but you'll still get the free version just by clicking none. You'll still have access to some of the select newsletters in the archive. If you want the full access to the archive and if you want to receive uh, weekly newsletters and be able to comment, there are paid options as well. If you're in the military or if you're an ROTC cadet, you can get the paid option for free. Just sign up for the free version using a civilian email account then reply to the intro email telling me who you are and I'll uh, tell you how to get upgraded for free. A bunch of you have already done this. Okay, so in the last video, we ended on day two. Remember that I had failed the land navigation exam already, but I had one more chance to pass. And if I passed, I could go to the next phase. And if I failed, I was gonna be dropped from the course. All right, so this is the beginning of day three. We moved into the multi-purpose room. We got the same brief that we were given 24 hours prior. We got our D-STARS checked, and then we waited outside. We once again moved to the land navigation course and began. I do remember the land nav course pretty clearly. It was pouring down rain once again. But this time, I took more steps to waterproof my map and my scorecard, and that helped a lot. But once I started, I couldn't find my first point. I tried to stay calm. And I just, I went and bagged my three other points and I came back to try to find that first one, but I could not find it. I kept stumbling on a point exactly where I thought my point was. But the Ranger course is what's called self-correcting, which means that the grid coordinate is written on the point and the point that I kept finding was not mine. So I got really frustrated, but I figured that that had to be my point. So I wrote it down and ran back just in time. Of course, no surprises, that was not my point. And the RIs told me that I had just failed ranger school. As it turns out, I was so tired that I made the same mistake I had once made as an ROTC cadet. And I swore I was never going to make that mistake again. I plotted the point in the wrong grid square. I was looking for my point exactly a thousand meters from where I was supposed to be. I was so tired at that point. I didn't know if I was happy or sad about failing. I went over to see my buddy Chad. I found out that he failed too. Together we waited for Matt. Sure enough, he failed as well. As we tried to figure out how this could have happened, the Sergeant Major of the Ranger Training Brigade came out to the course to try to figure out why so many students had failed land nav. And it was basically because of the rain and the lack of illumination an abnormally large amount of students had failed to pass. But he encouraged us to come back and try again. The rest of the day, we out-processed and we turned in our equipment. We eventually got everything done and were officially released and told to report back to the Infantry Basic Officer Leader Course. A bunch of the I Bullock lieutenants piled into a buddy's truck and we, laughed, we left Camp Rogers as failures. So why did I fail Ranger School? Yes, I failed land navigation, but that's not the real reason. Looking back, there were three things that caused me to fail. First and most importantly was lack of hydration. Remember on day two when I was cramping up on the obstacle course? That's because I was dehydrated. Remember when I was super tired and just not feeling great before the start of the first land navigation test? That's because I was dehydrated. In the next video, I'm going to go over some of the steps that I took my second time through ranger school to make sure that I stayed hydrated throughout the entire time. And this sounds like a trivial reason. Really, dehydration? This I had gone through infantry school. I had been I had been a backpacker. I'd done all this stuff. I never ever really took hydration that seriously until I realized how big of a role it played in failing at Ranger School. Now the second reason I failed 
was overexertion. Remember on day one when I took the PT test and I ran the five miler really hard? There was absolutely no reason for that. There were no kudos or special prizes for running the five miler in 34 minutes. No one even records your scores unless you come in under 32 minutes so you can get a major plus or over 40 minutes because you failed. No one even writes down those times. So running a 34 minute as opposed to a 38 or 39 minute, it takes a lot more energy, but there's really no reason for it. During the combat water survival assessment, I swam really hard when really all you have to do is pass. The same is true of the fight pit. I was wrestling really hard when I should have just been going through the drills as the instructors had been instructing. Now, I'm not saying you should sandbag the course, not at all. What I'm saying is you have to manage your energy. Don't sprint. If they aren't asking you to sprint, give the amount of effort that's being asked for at each of these events. Now, I kept these in mind when I came back to Ranger School the second time, and they really, they really helped. All right, now, the third reason I failed was simply overconfidence. I was 20 years old, which was really young for a lieutenant. I was the youngest in my eye bullet class. I was in amazing shape. I was at the top of my game. I thought Ranger School was going to be a breeze. I didn't take it seriously. I didn't focus on what, is, on what I was doing. I was just going through the motions, thinking that my natural talent and my physicality was going to carry me through. And that was a huge mistake. All right. So those are the three reasons uh, that I failed the first time going through Ranger School. But in the next video, I'm going to talk about how I came back to Ranger School, conquered Rap Week, went out to Darby, and then eventually graduated. All right, now I make these videos randomly whenever I get a chance. So please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. It's, it can be hard if you miss a video and you're trying to backtrack, going to, trying to figure out the order. Now I'm putting them on a playlist to try to alleviate some of that, but the easiest way is just subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Um, and then if, if you wanna help out, if you could like the video, that'd be great. Uh, that helps other people find the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.